Good morning. Monday. Yes. Woohoo! I think the kids are off. Yeah. They're out there hustling. <laughs> Little troops. See, I didn't think they were. I thought they were off like after Easter. I thought half term was after Easter. Not quite sure. I don't know. Not. But it's heavenly driving on the roads when it's, it's like this. Yes. Which is wonderful. So what we're going to talk about, about today. Or it's Sunday and it's not Monday and we're very confused. I'm always confused over days anyway. <laughs> I don't know what day it is off the time. Uh, today anyway, what we're going to talk about. Strengths. Strengths. Boom. And it's something that's massively important to us. And what kind of got me thinking about this were... Uh, a friend of mine, you've probably heard me talk about him before, and we've done a couple of videos together. Uh, CK Golding is called. You can find out a little bit more about him on Twitter, at CK Golding. Golding's a double I spelling, it's a bit weird, I keep telling him to change it, but he's a special kind of guy. Um, <laughs> but he, he tagged me into a post that were a blog article on Inked or Inked.com or whatever it were, and it got me thinking about uh, about the strengths and remember when we did them them gallop tests yeah strength finders strength finders and, and if you've not done it it's definitely worth while doing it do you know it costs it's not what was it about 80 quid was it or not even that was it I can't remember it's not expensive but it, but if you've not done a strengths test before definitely look at doing it isn't it called strength finder strength finder yeah from, from, from gallop isn't it yeah um, and, and it allows you to really identify what are your natural strengths. Yeah. And and this is the thing that I think that a lot of education really struggles to grasp. And and certainly, what we don't utilise to as is as full potential is our natural, God-given strengths. And what society does is tries to get you to be good in all areas you know it's about being you know taking what your weaknesses are and getting better at that and working on your weaknesses and allowing your weaknesses to to flourish mm -hmm. but do you know why not just take your strengths and get amazing at them yeah do you know why not don't why don't you just outsource all the stuff that you're not very good at get rid of it you know, you're not good at it, you don't enjoy doing it, why would you want to develop it? I don't like admin, why would I want to get better at admin? I don't like it, I hate it, so I'm outsourcing it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to develop and get better at admin. I want to, I want to get better at what I do. I want to be more slick, quicker, faster, streamlined. That's what I want to work on, the stuff that I'm that I enjoy doing, not the stuff that I don't like doing. Why would I want to get better at doing things that I don't like doing? It's true. It's just true. You and just become mediocre at a lot of things. You, good word. Good Thank word. You. Good word. Thanks very much. So that's what today's topic is really all about, is making sure that you firstly identify what your strengths are, what's your key strengths, and then making sure that that's the only stuff that you spend your time developing. If you're going to develop anything, you might as well develop your strengths. Don't, disrupt, don't develop your weaknesses. It's far too much... Um... I think it's a kind of thing that's been ingrained in us, hasn't it? Um, must improve on your weaknesses, must get better at them. But it's it's what it's right what you're saying. If if you're focusing on your weaknesses, then you're, you're not gonna, developing your strengths. Yeah, so so your strengths just stay where they are, where you could be amazing and a master at them, yeah, exactly. but you just leave them because you're not focusing on them. Exactly, and and, and this is you know I think the school's great in some areas mm. but I think that the biggest problem that school has is it's like oh they're really good at that so they don't need to work on it yeah. but they're really bad at that so let's work more on there and it's like eh. as, as Sarah just said you're just making them mediocre on, on everything you're not letting them to, to, to develop the natural skills you know the skills that they've been been born with these natural outstandingness of awesomeness of skills great words yeah just a mixture then that's, that's my natural <laughs> talent you see i'm just like a wordsmith <laughs> <laughs> can't spell for shit but <laughs> um but but definitely definitely do this you know i have I, I look it up online go to google and have a search for um for strengths finder by gallop and just spend a little bit of time just 
think or did it take about an hour was it the test no i think it's i think it's about 30 minutes it feels like an hour though it feels it's like, like an hour, yeah. you've got so many seconds to answer each question so you so it doesn't let you think about it it's just your natural reaction yeah but, but, um, yeah. I thought it was. Which was quite that, stressful. <laughs> <laughs> it was because you're like, oh, I've got to do it quick before my time runs out. <laughs> but it so, was spookily accurate. Yeah, unbelievably accurate. Do so you know find out. There was a lot. There's a lot in there, yeah. Find out what your natural strengths are, then find a way to develop them. You know, anything that you're not good at, you don't enjoy doing, get rid of it as soon as you can. Uh, yes, you're going to have to do some stuff yourself I was in say the early days. I was going to say that there's always going to be things that don't like doing or isn't a particular strength and it doesn't mean never do them and never develop them but don't focus all your energy and efforts on them 100% 100% panel thought panel thought um do the test uh, there's lots of other kind of tests like that out there but they're the having, leaders yeah having done a lot of them over the years I find that one is particularly good because of the in-depth research that they've done it goes into um, that Higgs no what was it called Briars Miggs sorry Briars Miggs no what was it called Myers Briggs Myers Briggs Briars Miggs that's good as well yeah, I've done that. that's, that's good. a good one but it's not as in depth um, I don't know I'd, I'd say they're, they're pretty par for par I'd say no I think this one mm, ok oh. well you've entitled to your own but <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Anywho, 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 anywho. Um, yeah. So, yeah, do the test, and I think you'll find that it kind of confirms what you already know. Yeah. But you might not know it. Wow. <laughs> you Maybe you should do one. <laughs> <laughs> I've done one. Yeah, do it again. <laughs> right, anyway, so, yeah, just go and find your strengths. Find a way, then, to develop them strengths and get really good anything that you don't you, you, you don't enjoy doing you don't like doing find a way to outsource it as soon as possible if you look at any highly successful person that's created anything whether it's wealth or you know riches or you know companies and size and scale and anything you know they have a power team of people around them we look at one of the past videos we did we're talking about power teams about building the right type of people around you and, and that's exactly what this is all about. It's about finding the people around you that can do the stuff that you don't like doing, that you're no good, you're no good at doing, and they're the ones that's gonna help you to build and grow. You just focus on the stuff that you enjoy doing. Do it today, have a smashing, awesome, wicked, massive, strength-finding day. Tweet me, let me know how you get on. At John underscore COVID, John without the H, J-O-N. Uh, let us know how you are doing and what's your strengths. Let's go. Go do it. <laughs>